this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today our question comes to us from the Roaring Mind. And the Roaring Mind has this question. The Roaring Mind asks what I think of the idea of regional karma. The idea that a physical place can have a karma of its own. And the Roaring Mind goes on to give an example uh, in which one country attacks another and would the people of that first country then have a collective karma because of that event? So we've really got two questions here. One of them has to do uh, with uh, the idea of karmic attachments to a region, and the other has to do with the idea of a collective karma of a group of people involved in the same situation. And I'm going to take them one at a time, and I'm going to start with the idea of regional karma. And I do not uh, credit that idea according to my understanding of karma. However, you may have a different understanding of karma, and what I'm about to say may have a different impact for you. What I would say is that a region can absolutely carry an energetic charge from the events that have occurred there. Uh, I think it's not uncommon at all that this is the case. In fact, I think it's rather uh, more often than not the case that the things that happen in a particular area will affect its energy. And sometimes it can affect it very much, uh, sometimes not so much. And it depends what happened. And uh, it also depends on a person's sensitivity to energy, whether they will really notice this or not, or how strongly they will be affected by it. But I do very much believe that uh, particular areas, particular uh, items for that matter, can carry an energetic charge. But that is not karma. But, depending how you're using the word, you might see it that way. Uh, I would not. So, my answer to the first part of this is, I do not credit the idea of regional karma, but I do very much credit the idea of regional energetic charges, uh, which color the energy of places, and which in turn can be affected by future energetic workings. So, for example, if a place carried a negative charge, an energetic healing could clear that charge and heal that place from the negativity it had carried. Now, as to the second part of the question, collective karma, I also do not credit this idea because it is not consonant with my understanding of karma. My understanding of karma is that we form karma through uh, the events that we experience in this physical world when we attach to them, and that we attach to them because there are things we must learn from them, and that we carry forward those attachments which call us back to similar experiences until we have learned all that is there to learn. However, this is very much an individual thing. So I do not think you can have collective karma because uh, if there are a number of different uh, individuals involved in the situation, they will not necessarily attach to it in the same way, if at all. Uh, and going forward, how fast or how slow they learn the lessons of the experience will also be individual in character. Now, having said that, can a number of people who are involved in the same situation all carry forward karma from it? Absolutely. But it's not collective, it's still individual. And I'm very fond of the Kipling quote, the race is one by one and one, never by two and two, uh, in terms of karma. It's not something that we carry together, it's something we carry as an individual journey. And it's about the shaping of our soul. Uh, it's our own personal burden, so to speak. Or our own personal blessing, depending on what it is. So that would be my answer. I hope you find it helpful, and until next time, may you blessed be. Pray for peace. Pray for love. Pray for stability. Pray for the nation where you live. Pray for the world.